हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डुअल डायमेंशनिंग इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट डुअल डायमेंशनिंग इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स वी मस्ट नो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज डुअल डायमेंशनिंग डजन वर्क फॉर द पार्ट लेवल दैट मीन्स इट डजन वर्क फॉर द स्केच डायमेंशन सो इट ओनली वर्क फॉर द ड्रॉइंग एनोटेशन Now the second thing is, as Creo parametric follows ANSI standard, you can either have dual dimensioning for the entire drawing, or you cannot have it. That means if you want dual dimensioning only for this dimension, this is not possible. Now to add the dual dimensioning, you simply go to File, Prepare, Drawing Properties, Change, and here you go to Find. Type dual here. and go for find now now you get few options here so this option dual dimensioning you select it and make it primary secondary so in this case your first dimension will be primary dimension and the second dimension will be secondary dimension if you go for secondary and primary then your first dimension will be the secondary dimension and the second dimension will be the primary dimension add change now the second option is dual dimension brackets so if you make it yes you will get a bracket for the secondary dimension now the third option is dual secondary units so by default it is mm and since my drawing is in mm i will select secondary dimension as inches add changes other than this you have one more detail option which is default dual dimension position so this option you only get in creo 7.0.5 and now in creo 8 so this is not available till creo parametric 7.0.4 so when you have this option you can place your secondary dimension below the primary dimension or the right side of the primary dimension say close apply close close so now you see your all the dimensions are having secondary unit all over the drawing now if you are using creo 6 or the lower version and you want to place your secondary dimension right side of the primary dimension then you can do that individually by selecting all the dimensions going to dual dimension and then you can select to right you can select the dimension go to dual dimension and select to right So this is how we do in lower version. So this was the dual dimensioning in Creo parametric, and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.